Hello Lilith, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget at the end of the video or in between the video while you listen to the video, leave me a comment as I do read all my comments. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure that you follow me on my Instagram. My name is the same as here, Miss Serenity Smith. And also, guys, if you want to be a part of the Chatterbox for exclusive live streams, make sure you click the link in the description bar of the join button. It is $1.99 to join that, and you do have to be at least 18 years old. Now, with that being said, I am here to show Baby Azani, and I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. This is the name that his mommy chose for him, but he is a cuddle baby that I painted. He is... um painted by me and he is on a Reggie Ann um, a cuddle body so I am going to um, get him in a little sleeper for him to travel home this is something the sleeper that his mom sent for him to wear home um, because I did him as you know mainly painting services only but you know me i'll probably slide something in his box <laughs> um it's kind of hard not to he is so i just wanted to show you guys what a cuddle body looked like and i used to be so opposed to the cuddle bodies but um I, i'm in an awkward position right now because i don't the lighting is terrible because it's it's dark outside so I'm trying to keep it where you guys can see good. But I wanted you guys to see what an actual cuddle body looked like, baby looked like. Um, and although you're not getting the full baby, for me, painting the face, I still like to put just as much detail in them as I would, you know, um... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see as I would a um, full baby. So they're very poseable and so very good for like photos. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see where I, you know, posed him in, in different little positions. I don't know if you guys can see, but they can look so realistic. Now, he had on pants. You wouldn't even really know. So, I'm going to get him in his sleeper that he's going home in. But I, I'll send this with him because the little hand things, you don't have to have hand mitts. Oh, this one don't have hand mitts. Where did I? I had, Oh, I'm S probably in the drawer. Okay. So, I'm going to take him off of everything for you guys. So... Although some people may not like the cloth bodies, like, you know, showing, um, I actually don't mind because, I mean, at the end of the day, it is that. But if I'm trying to pull them off as a, a real baby, um, then yeah, I'm going to cover them all the way up. Now, getting him dressed and undressed <laughs> may look a little crazy because it's almost like dressing silicone because he's he's soft. All you know, his body is soft, so you gotta kind of work it through the clothes. But I will put him, make him a pacifier to go home with. Um, but I thought he was so cute in in his um little diaper I love these bodies so okay so it might look a little crazy to you guys but for me <laughs> like it's the perfect size body and because it has all these bends it can bend and fold a lot of different ways which is important to me like especially for posing <laughs> all right um I know this this sounds crazy but 
I probably will paint one myself. I'm not going to try to copy her baby, but I'm going to paint one myself. I don't know why when I see this kit, it reminds me of Stacy's son from Gianna's Baby's World, Luca. And I I don't know. He just looks so much like him to me. Um, I'm like, oh my God, he is so cute. Um, but I really, 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 really love this face. And it's so crazy because originally I did not. It was one that I, I, I did not like the sculpt at first, but I seen another artist paint it and they, and they did really nice. And when they, the, because of the way that artist painted it, I kind of fell in love with the face. And so when I had the opportunity to paint one for someone, I was like, yes. And then when I pulled it out the box just as a blink, I was like, oh my God, this baby is amazing. Like, it really pulls you in. And my mom came over, and when she came over, he was just starting to get painted. And she saw him, and she was like, that's a really cute baby. And she was, like, making all the baby noises and stuff like that. I thought it was adorable but yeah he got those little tooted out little lips and stuff oh my goodness so I am painting Lenny as well by the same sculptor um which will be going home soon which I absolutely love that baby too so it's it's pretty cool um just exploring different sculpts different sculptors and seeing what's out there and enjoying different faces now i'm gonna put him on hand mitts because i do have some right here they may not match well i could put him on the blue but i was just gonna put him on these they don't match but that's fine at least it separates his sleeper. You don't really want it to blend in anyway. I signify, hey, these are my hands, this is my arms type thing. So I think that works, <laughs> right? Oh my goodness, I love him. So yeah, so this that's when you put them in there. And you know, some people get them rooted. Um, I've seen people do awake cuddle babies, but for cuddle babies, but for me, I honestly, when I think of a cuddle baby, I think of a sleeping baby, because I usually prefer to cuddle with my sleepers, so I think they should be sleeping. But that's just my personal opinion and personal preference. Um, of course, they're gonna look cute regardless if they're awake or not you know so but for me i think cuddle sleep <laughs> so yeah oh there you go so that's that's the little stinker pool oh my goodness oh my god like his mommy just like if I don't know if if she hadn't sent him as a custom and I was just painting him and then was going to put him up for sale, he would never make, have made it out the door. Him and Lanny would not make it out the door. <laughs> would not have made it out the door. That's the good thing about having like doing the customs where they're already or, you know, reserved babies because it keeps me grounded and disciplined not to try to keep every baby because I can't keep them. Otherwise, I'll be on a scammer page. So that's the <laughs> that's the thing that I love about um, I do love about the fact that they already have have mommies. Because otherwise, I promise you guys, it would be so awful because I would so totally like try to keep them. Like not every baby that I make, I fall in love with. Like so. I've had a few like Kaysen, I still love him to pieces. That was my Willow Asleep that I did. Um, 
and this baby oh my gosh like i'm so in love with this baby um my lily grace but i'll be honest with you i like this baby painting more than lily even more than lily grace does that make sense they're kind of on the same, but I think his coloring is a little bit more, even more lifelike than Lily Grace. I don't know. But nevertheless, um, I always ju judge myself against the last baby that I painted. That's what I do. I critique myself and critique myself and beat myself <laughs> up. Um, so yeah, so he is perfectly newborn. He is on a newborn size cuddle baby body and I am going to show um I'll just show the other body once again I know some of you guys may have seen in my live stream um I believe it may have been in the chat box I'm not sure where I showed the other body because I had originally got one body and it, I, I said, oh no, this is too big. I couldn't put his head on this body and I'm so glad that I, that I didn't. So, um, I, I ordered a different size, you know, the, the newborn body and perfect, perfect. But this ba this body will make good for a bigger baby. <laughs> so... Um, this is a, a, a fatter baby body and as you can see like it's a giant over him So I there was no way I could put him on that one, but um, This one actually have a magnet in it where that ribbon is on the uh, in the hand so Pretty cool. That's how the bodies are um let me show you and they come weighted so that's pretty cool as well um let me show you so the back gives them some bum bum so you don't even have to worry about that and the good thing about them because of the way they're they bend and stuff they can they can actually sit up so if you want to do like F on the shelf type baby or babies that's always getting into stuff, they, you can use these to, to sit up. So really cool. I really love these bodies. The quality of the fabric is amazing. So I use, so far I've used these bodies for my cuddle bodies, baby bodies um, from Reggie Ann, but my um, other bodies that I use like regular baby bodies i use jenny jenny lennox um from facebook as well I, this lady is um the reggie ann dolls is on um etsy but um jenny jenny lennox for my regular custom bodies like you know the um biracial or african-american they call it ethnic but bodies but I like the chocolate, like the d deeper chocolate and stuff like that. Bodies on some of my babies. Um, I go to her and um, that's who I use for that. But anyway, that is enough on that. I just wanted to check in with you guys really quickly and show you this little guy. Um, I'll try to see if I can get close up on him. Um... Like I said, he has a lot of details like broken capillaries and baby scratches and little baby milk bumps. A little, just tiny, very little. You can't really even see him on camera, but in person, hopefully the mommy see him. You know, veining like that, modeling, stuff like that. He's, he's a really detailed little one, but it's nice because only had to work on the head. So that was, I think... I think it allows you to really concentrate on that face, which is sometimes like the best part anyway of the baby. So, um, also I have some great news to share, but I'll share more details later as stuff really 
you know, transpire and become more subtle, I will share that information with you guys later. But for now, I'll see you guys later. And hey, we may do a live stream soon. So um, stay tuned. Make sure you're, like I said, click the bell. Make sure you, you know, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And um, I do have a new page where I will share my work there because my friends uh, list on Facebook is at 5,000. So I can't accept anymore on the regular friends thing. But so I had to do another page so that way I could still show my work and everybody could see it. Um, I don't have a website. Everybody keep asking, like, do I have a website? I have not designed a website because I haven't felt the need to do it because I have a full time job. This is my hobby slash, you know, side income type thing. Like, you know, get a little extra money here and there. But it's first my hobby and my passion. So um, I hadn't needed to do a website. But maybe, you know, somewhere down the line, if I continue to do like customs and stuff like that, I will do a website. Um, let me know, guys, what you think about that. Like, do you think if you're not full time? A full-time artist do you think people really need a website or like because most of my business transaction is just like Facebook or eBay so that's and a lot of them are through eBay so anyway we'll talk about it later